In this problem, we're told if a one kilogram standard body has an acceleration of two meters per second squared at 20 degrees to the positive direction of an x axis, what are A, the x component, and B, the y component of the net force acting on the body? And C, what is the net force in unit vector notation? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So I'm just going to draw the body as a box. So we have this floor here with this box on it. And we know this box is going to be weighing one kilogram. And so we know there's going to be, it's going to have an acceleration of two meters per second squared at 20 degrees to the positive direction of the x axis. So just think of this as like a xy plane. So it's going to be the direction of the x axis at 20 degrees, right? So it's going to look something like this. Uh, you can draw this in multiple ways, but essentially it's going to be 20 degrees like this. And we know this is the acceleration, which is going to be two meters per second squared. So this right here is just a drawing of what's going on. So hope, hopefully you can use this to understand it. So we're going to start, start with A. So A, we're trying to find the X component. And then I guess we can do A and B at the same time. And the Y component of the net force acting on the body. So keep in mind what the formula for force is. Force equals mass times acceleration. So we're going to use this to solve. So I'm going to call the force in the X direction. right? So the X component, F sub X. And then the one in the Y direction is just going to be F sub Y. So we're going to take the mass of it, right, the mass of the object, and then multiply it by the acceleration in the x direction. And then for this one, we're going to do the y direction. So let's just start with this one. So what is the mass of the objects? We know it's going to stay constant throughout it. It's just going to be one kilogram. And so it's just going to be one, right, times the acceleration in the x direction. That's what we're going to find now. So keep in mind, uh, this is like a vector, right? So this is our vector quantity. I'm just going to draw a triangle like this. So here's our triangle. And so we know this is going to be 2 uh, meters per second squared. This is the acceleration. And so we're trying to find this side and this side, right? I'm going to label this y, label this x. That's what we're trying to solve for. And uh, hopefully you know by now how we use vectors is what we can do is use trig in order to solve uh, for the y component of this and, uh, and the x component. So in order to find the y component, what you're going to want to do, or let's start with the x component because that's what we're doing first right, because we're taking the x direction first, right, because we're solving for force in the x direction. So let's start with x. So this also is 20 degrees. I didn't label it, but just keep in mind that's 20 degrees, right, because this is what this looks like. So the cosine of an angle, right, 20 degrees is equal to, we know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, right, so the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So it's just x over 2, right, so x over 2. And we can solve for this x, right, the acceleration in the x direction is what we're solving for. So essentially, x is 2 times the cosine of 20. That's the acceleration in the x direction. A is asking for the x component of the force, right? So force equals mass times acceleration. The mass is 1, and we just found the uh, acceleration in the x direction. It's 2 times the cosine of 20. So we're just multiplying 2 times the cosine of 20. If you go ahead and do that, uh, you're going to get 1.879. I'm going to round it up, though, to 1.88. So it's about 1.88. And then keep in mind the units. Since this is in meters per second squared and this is in kg, it's going to be newtons. So 1.88 newtons is your answer to A. Now let's do B. So keep in mind it's the same exact thing, essentially. So the mass is going to be 1. Force equals mass times acceleration. Now we have to find the acceleration, the vertical component. So the way we do that is by taking the sine of your angle, right? So the sine of 20, we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse, uh, what you can do is the opposite side which is y over the hypotenuse. So the opposite is y over the hypotenuse, which is 2. If we want to solve for y, multiply both sides by 2. So y equals 2 times the sine of 20. So uh, we can just plug that in here. So 2 times the sine of 20. So now we've got that. And so 2 times the sine of 20, it's going to be equal to, if you do this, it's going to be equal to 0.684. I'm going to round it to 0.68. And so this is going to be newtons again. So 0.68 newtons. And they don't specifically say they want it in vector notation for these. So you could put a J here. So J, you can put a J, like vector notation J for your Y. And then for this, you can put an I. So you can just write it as 1.88 I, right? Like this, this is what your I, it's like an I. It just means in the X direction, essentially. Right, so we separate it for the x and y directions. So you can put that i if you want. They don't really specify, but 
if you want to do that for that, and then this one would be 0.68 uh, j, right? So the j vector uh, notation, and then so yeah, 0.68, 1.88. That's your answer to a and b. Let's do c now. So c essentially just asks, uh, wants you to combine these. So in, in unit vector notation, you just combine them, right? So it's just going to be 1.88 i plus 0.68 uh, vector notation j and then you can surround this whole thing right or you could write it after but or just right after each of them but i'm just going to put the newtons at the end so this right here is going to be your answer to c and yeah hopefully you found this video useful